The Borrowed Axe. The boys of Prophet Elisha's school crowded closer together on their benches, trying to make room for the new pupils. But it was no use. There just wasn't room. The boy with the red coat we'll call Jared. Barefooted, Jared had walked many miles that he might attend Prophet Elisha's school where boys were taught to be teachers for God. But alas, the schoolhouse was far too small. Would Jared and the new pupils have to go home? When school let out, the boys talked together. What could they do about their too small school? One of the boys pointed toward the River Jordan. Let's take our axes and go to the river, he said, and cut down trees to build a larger school. It's a good idea, said an older boy, and let's ask Prophet Elisha to go with us. The other boys agreed, but Jared hung his head. He had no axe and no money to buy one. Could you not borrow an axe? asked the older boy. So Jared went to a neighbor's house and asked if he might borrow an axe. You may borrow my axe, said the neighbor, if you will take good care of it. I will take good care of your axe, promised Jared. Very good care of it. One morning, when the sun was half up, the boys shouldered their axes and walked with Prophet Elisha down the trail to the River Jordan. The river wound in and out, in and out, in and out, like a snake wiggling through the valley. Here and there on its banks were groves of trees, tall trees, short trees, crooked trees, and trees that were straight. Each boy chose a tree to cut down. Jared chose one near the river's edge. He swung the borrowed axe and made a cut. Again and again and again, he swung the axe with all his might. Pitchy, piney chips flew this way and that. Then suddenly, without warning, the axe head flew off the axe handle. A plop, a splash, it sank out of sight. Jared looked where the axe head had fallen, but the water was too muddy to see it and too deep to wade in and feel for it. Alas, master, for it was borrowed, he cried to Prophet Elisha. Where did it fall? Prophet Elisha asked. Jared showed him the place. Prophet Elisha cut down a stick. Then, asking God for help, he threw the stick into the river where the axe head had fallen. The boys watched to see what would happen. They saw the stick floating on the water, and then... Up, 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 through the muddy water rose the axe head. Up, 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 to the surface of the water. And there it floated beside the stick, like a toy boat on the river. Take it up, said Prophet Elisha. Joyfully, Jared splashed in after it. He fastened the axe head tightly to the axe handle and finished cutting down his tree. With a push and a pull, the boys dragged the tree logs along the trail. They split the logs into slabs the right size and built a new and larger school. Now the boys wouldn't be too crowded. There would be room enough for all. No one would have to go home. They could all stay at Prophet Elisha's school and learn to be teachers for God.